player receives advice about the refining of his game. Ah, uh, game and half back of Midland. We did kind of big crap in that last series. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Texas League. Tonight it's the first of four between the Corpus. Austin Bivens Dirks will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality wow, innings in this one. Three nothing in the first one out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In there, a base hit. One run is scored. And a second run is across. Now the third man is scored. And my goodness gracious, an inside the park grand slam. Come on. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get up. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Chris Anthony. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. First pitch on its way. Soft liner towards short, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man. Ready for another chance? Kenny Kaufman. He reached on a single in his first try. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Calling for it. Anthony. One down. Digging in to try it again. Chris Anthony. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First pitch of the at bat. He pulls this one into right. Catch is made here in right. And here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Leading off the inning, Chris Anthony, and they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Now about Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ryan Rua. off for second swing line drive that's going to be trouble all right stand up stand up and they've really got something going here runners at second and third to start the inning that's how quickly things can change in this crazy game Definitely the pitcher was upset about the call in the previous pitch which could have been strike three then he serves up one for a double good example of why you have to have a short memory in this game you let those things get to you, and oftentimes they lead to more mistakes. Soft liner toward first. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. 
And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I am. Digging in once again, Chris Anthony, a hit in two tries so far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Ooh. Way in front of that fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. What was that? I even waited on it. Rounded down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. I don't know what the, the first pitch was. I can't believe I, 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 oh, I don't know how I missed it. I waited on it and everything. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. And this one is gone, a home run. That's the way, uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's the way, uh -huh, Solo uh -huh, shot here like to left, uh -huh, sixth uh -huh, home run on the season for him, as it's now an eight to five ball game. I got two hits in this game, and a sack fly. Two for three with a sack fly. My average is slowly climbing. Well, he had him dead the rights at 0-2. Instead of making him chase a pitch and waste a pitch or two, he served one up and paid for it dearly. That is one tough pill to swallow. Ready for another shot now. Ellis Keenan. We're down by three. That's not too bad. Ellis Keenan. The 3-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Anthony is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Anthony he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a oh. pretty good off-speed hitter. You can it. tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't oh, miss it. Was early on that? Here comes that was the 0-1. High in like the air out to center field. Douglas giving chase, makes the catch, yeah. and that's the ball game. That's Eight okay. to Two five for four tonight. Chris Christie came out swinging with a huge first inning that really Next set them up well. Oh. Willie Perez with his fourth win this season. I'm like, I gotta increase contact and power mostly. Attribute, I mean, Minor League Baseball attribute is live. Pablo Arias will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Settling in now, Brian Castillo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Lifted in the air to center. Silva will put this one away and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. My turn. Digging in the switch hitter, Chris Anthony. It was a two hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Owen won the count. On the ground to the right side. Backhanded. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. That's okay. Time for a look at the defensive alignment. Striding in once again, Chris Anthony. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Ready once again, Chris Anthony, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So striding forward now, Edgar Gonzalez. He singled his last time up. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Rua on the move. 
He gets there and makes the play for the first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Anthony. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. That was a little bit late. What was that? Slider? Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Don't. And they have taken oh, the lead. Sweet. Jesus. So don't catch it. So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field as they jump ahead by three. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it, just like he did. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this game. 5 2 in the final score tonight. The Frisco Rough Riders came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Hmm. Minor League Baseball now on the. Frisco, Texas. I had to think about that. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chris Anthony. Take a look at the splits between April and May. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Tough slider down low for a strike. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. I mean, it's not even on. I mean, it's not even online. It's live. Ugh. The game live itself. Here's the 0 and 2. With the next in the air to straightaway left. De Los Santos sprinting after it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Yeah, All right, here's how the visitors are lining up. Two. Both the one. Now at the plate, Chris Anthony. He flew out in his last at bat. Anthony. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. It's an error. Did I just reach an error? I did. It's not his fault. Digging in for his good. second at bat, Ryan Rua. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Here's the 1 1. It's a swing and a high pop up. Kaufman has a play. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. Striding forward now is the DH, Ellis Keenan. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Anthony is after it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Chris Anthony. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Chris Anthony. Here comes the first pitch. On a line, right that's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Now batting. Now in the box, Ryan Rua. Two pop-outs for him so far, so he'll look to stay through one here. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And there's one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Joel Batista. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. A dive, but he's back. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swinging a soft liner on to first, and there were two down. At the plate, Sean Price. Runner in scoring position with two guys. Sean Price. Did he get drafted this year? A swinging punt up the third baseline. 
throw in time and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So digging in now, Andrew Douglas, two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. 0-2 oh count, here's the pitch. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Anthony racing back to the track. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And the runner is in from second. Now both men are across to score. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the it's seventh. Every day the fans the are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the Parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ball. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ellis Keenan. Designated hitter, Ellis Keenan. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Anthony is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Anthony. He singled his last time up. Uh, it's up and in, up and in. Here comes the first pitch. There this it is, is too. Hit high in the air out toward left center. I got under it though. Halo Santos moves over, one away. Hmm. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ballgame. It's good to see, like, I'm getting filming reaction up, you know. Welcome to MLB The Show. And oh, yes. No score here as we play inning number two. A crap, another crappy series. I did hit two run, home runs in this series, but I'm still having a crappy series. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Ferreira has got it, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. And you see, my average just keeps dropping. Standing it just in, keeps on Chris dropping. Anthony, he'll get to take his first cuts here. So he's going straightaway center field to win. Hmm. Up and in, up and in. First pitch coming, here it is. It was up and in. Fouled the home plate. It's 0 and 1. Is that early? No, I was barely early. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Ground to the three. right. It's not oh, three. and he can't come up with it. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first. <sighs> Ready now, Chris Anthony. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Chris throwing changes down Ready with the first low. pitch. Here it comes. Like Bouncer that. up the middle. Oh, a reaching try as he knocks it down. And the throw will be too late Anthony. as he can't recover in time. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. I'm ready for right. Triple A. Even that front Just shoulder I'm not ready for Triple A. Staying inside the ball, not I'm not completely dominating it. yet. Here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Douglas on the move. He's got it one away. And they will not try anything here, so the bases remain loaded with one away. Come on, Centeno. Stepping in, Juan Centeno reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here comes the 0-1. Hit hard on the ground to second. One there. Okay. Ooh, he hit me in just like that, this <laughs> side is retired. Um, I'm cry. So striding in, Ellis ball. Keenan. He singled his Jerk. last time up. Ellis. Come on. Come on. Here's the 2 1 home. High and deep to right center. Anthony giving chase. He's got it, and there are two down now. Hmm. I didn't have a hit. Stepping okay. in, Chris Anthony. As the switch one. hitter will take his cuts left handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting no. 350 left handed, hitting against right handed pitching. To be honest, and I'm surprised that he did. Athletic play to get him. Man, wow. You now have to look that much. Stepping up now, I'm too Carlo slow. Montalvo. I'm too Perfect. slow. Carlo Montalvo. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hessman calls for it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. And I have one out back coming up too. 
coming to the plate now. Oh, look at Chris that. Anthony, three. two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Up and in. Come on, up and in. Ready. Here's the first offering. Line it was up and in. That's a hit. And that's in there. Base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Digging in now, Joel Batista. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. Leading off for Corpus. So stepping in, Alfonso De Los Santos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Even he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep gone. right field. Gone to lead off the inning. Well, the skipper that. called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. Standing in, Kenny Kaufman. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Left fielder has a beat on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end six to five in the final. Put up four runs. I got two hits in that game. That's not too bad. That helped my average a little bit. Okay, whatever. Alright, starting up the next series. 